what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back hope you staying on that hero status you already know what it is over here man we chilling okay we chilling um <clears throat> if you guys have not seen my update video make sure you go and check that out man to know what to do i invite you all to suggest <laughs> anyways man we're gonna jump on this um my hero academia we're catching up fast we're catching up fast just started season four did the first episode of season four in the last reaction i am curious to see what is going to take place now that we have this new villain um overhaul that has just joined the league of villains um was recruited by twice i think is the name of the villain twice <laughs> very weird name for a villain but anyways it fits it fits because he had like a split personality um or whatever the situation is so um pretty cool stuff so we got to see his real face without the mask that was pretty cool um but over on the other side we got to see one of the best animated fights that i've seen in the series so far bakugo versus deku that was pretty cool and bakugo now he knows the secret um basically um of how the all um one for all works right so that was pretty cool um also somebody said in the comment section that deku is a symbol of peace and and um and bakugo is the symbol of victory um i like that i like that i like that that makes sense um you know in in other words i think they will have a better relationship that what all might and endeavor have in the future so now that bakugo knows he has to keep that secret too and i think he'll do a better job of keeping the secret and not blab it blab it out i mean deku has been doing a, a better job of not revealing the secret you know but when it all comes down to it you know um you know bakugo gave him some tips about shoot style you know um yeah gave him some tips telling him that he's he's you know he's swinging too wide you get what i'm saying like you could see his moves coming he's definitely quicker but at the same time if your moves are if i could see your moves coming it's not going to make a big difference you get what i'm saying so i gave him some tips from the fight you know them on kind of coming to an understanding and then we have mirio right um right the dude that is they say that is closest to number one including the pros that was pretty amazing to hear um so i'm i'm guessing he's closer he's the closest to being like a symbol of peace um that's what i'm thinking that you know what i'm saying like he's closer to that than any than in not necessarily strength in comparison to pro heroes but more of like the symbol of peace i think somebody said that in the comment section too so props out to you um so yeah man um as you can see i am i've been doing just doing reactions yesterday you know i got a little bit of sad news um well, it's not really sad it's more of like disappointing news that you know what i'm saying like i can't get back to doing business until well outside of my house um until the end of april which we don't know they might put out another notice again telling us we can't do nothing because this thing it's it it it's every anytime you feel like it's going to die down it seems like it's getting worse it seems like you'll hear one news outlet say oh things are kind of get getting back to normal and then you hear another news where it says oh it's getting worse it's a pandemic you know it's yeah it's not fun it's it's not fun i'll tell you that much being home you get bored you don't know what to do so we just watching stuff and just watching stuff and just watching stuff, you know, but I do keep an eye on the, um, 
the continuation of this unnecess unnecessary saga. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the review. Wow, I really, <laughs> I really went for it today. Oh my, I really did want to get a lot of episodes done today of My Hero Academia. I decided to binge watch it, um, knowing that we just started season four. Season four is actually still going on right now. Um, I don't know how many episodes they are in. I mean, I just did 12 episodes, so they got to be like maybe close to the end of season four right now. But overall, formidable opponent, no doubt about it. Gotta give him his props. He took down a lot of people. A lot of people that I was starting to hold in high regard. I mean, Lemillion. Uh, what's his name? Um, All Might Sidekick. He took down a lot of people. But well, not I wouldn't say a lot, but a lot of people got hurt during this takedown of them trying to rescue this girl. Now, her quirk is rewind. So because she doesn't know how to control her quirk, she can basically rewind your life, rewind your life force, pretty much rewind you to a time when... Um, to a time when humans didn't have quirk rewind you to a to a baby to a you get what i'm saying she can rewind you you know what i'm saying like that's a very dangerous quirk that she has um because the quirk is kind of similar to overhaul's um quirk it's kind of similar but there's differences like he repairs um, he can destroy and repair. You get what I'm saying? So, he, 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 basically with his, with his quirk, his quirk, but he also can merge with people because he can basically um, merge, right? He can basically merge with people and use their quirk, which is weird, you know, that he can merge other people's flesh with his flesh, but he doesn't like to be touched. So, <laughs> so that's why he has a problem with doing it, but he does it anyways. You know what I'm saying? And he can, he can repair whatever is broken. He can tear things apart and he can put them back together. So his, his quirk is pretty interesting. What I would say for these 12 episodes, I will, I will say this because I can't go over everything. Um, I, I can't remember his name. <laughs> Kirishima, right? Kirishima, Red Riot, right? He impressed me during this, during this um, marathon I went on. He really did impress me. He stepped up, um, I guess, because, because of Bakugo's Bakugo and Todoroki is out of the picture, so somebody else had to step into the limelight for these episodes, and they had to feature somebody else. Uraraka and Froppy didn't really get that much push forward, but they were there. Their presence were felt. I'm really, like, I'm loving that dragon lady, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? She got the fire, you know what I'm saying? Pun intended. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I definitely love that aspect of it. But I do want to take some time to talk about Mirio. He really showed me, Lemillion, really showed me during this marathon who he truly is and why he's considered to be um, the closest to being number one. He really showed me that because even after his, his quirk was completely gone, he couldn't use it anymore. He was still giving overhaul those hands. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the will to do that is beyond, you know what I'm saying? It's be, it, it's a going above and beyond going, you know what I'm saying? Um, go beyond plus ultra is definitely in his blood you know what i'm saying so i definitely want to give a shout out to lamillion he really showed some fortitude there that 
you know, I was waiting to see. Not that I didn't expect it from him, but I was waiting to see why are they saying he's the closest to being number one, even among pros. So he really proved that to me. Um, also, the shy guy, really impressive taking out those three guys. You can see why these three is, um, even though the girl didn't really get any time to shine, those two really got their time to shine out of the big three. Um, I like his quirk. I really do like his quirk. I can't remember his name, but Sun Eater. I think that, yeah, Sun Eater, right? So I really like his quirk because his quirk, whatever he eats, he can manifest. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's meat, it doesn't matter what he eats. He can manifest it in some way. Um, I think his quirk's name is actually manifest, right? So no matter what he eats, so he could eat, you know, swords or whatever, you know, if he could eat swords or knives or, you know what I'm saying? He could probably shoot darts out or some something like that. I'm just being silly here. Um, so, yeah, but... The man of the hour, man, as always, we all know he's the main protagonist, so he's going to get the most shine. When he, when Deku came on the scene, the whole vibe of the anime changed. Even when um, Mr. Um, Sir, as Lemillion calls him, Sir, right? When he got taken down, right? I thought he was going to put in some work and then all of a sudden he was bored through. I don't know how he's going to survive. How the hell is he going to survive that? With the the crystal shooting out of his stomach like that. Like, I mean, it's, it's a world of heroes. So, you know, nothing is ever concrete when it comes on to death in this show because... You know, they you know, a lot of times they could get just get healed or whatever. So nothing is really permanent. Not even death is permanent because um overhaul can actually kill people and put them back together. You get what I'm saying? Like he can kill them and then put them back together in a but it's in a specific amount of time he has to do it. So that's the thing that's um great and not so great about the show that you live in a world where it kind of feels like they have quirks of, you know, it seems like there's no consequences. There's consequences towards using their quirks, but at the same time, it's kind of like, I, I hopefully that this anime doesn't go the length of not never killing anybody important. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I, I love I'm loving my hero academia. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not necessarily trying to criticize it. I just I'm waiting for that element to be implemented in the anime because the anime is still young. It's still young. There's still much they can do. So maybe it's not time yet for something like that to happen. Um, so I'm still waiting on that. So, you know, so, yeah, did a great job talking about 100 <laughs> percent Deku crazy crazy abilities when it comes to Deku man Deku is just is one of those characters that you really want to root for he hit he hit him with the consecutive normal punches my guy if you guys know what I'm talking about man he hit him with the consecutive normal punches you know what I mean he couldn't he, he, he couldn't Deku was moving so quick he couldn't do anything about it. He couldn't repair and destroy. He couldn't do anything. Deku was destroying what he's building so quick. He had no choice but to take that punch. You take a hundred percent off one for all. You're a done. You're done. You're done. You know what I mean? You're done. And it was pretty cool to see him. The hair color change. If that's what he's gonna look like at a hundred percent, it's pretty dope. Um. I like it very much. The hair color change seems like, you know what I'm saying, um, one for all kind of covers his entire body. Pretty dope stuff. The animation was on point, of course. So thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy this marathon with me. I'm about to go upload these episodes, man. They're going to be dope. Thank you guys so much as always. And I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And also... Don't forget 
to subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.